What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. Today we are moving on to part two of remodeling this beachfront beauty cell one. In our last episode we took on the master suite up here, which I feel like turned out pretty well. Check out this bathroom and that tub. Ah, uh, what I would do for a glass of wine and a nice book to lay in that tub. But uh, yeah, so we're all done upstairs. We're gonna be taking on the downstairs today. One thing I do wanna mention, I saw a few comments, quite a few comments yesterday. People were getting like the, something went wrong error from YouTube where it gives you a gray screen and it stops the video. It, that's not on my end. I can't control that. YouTube's been bugging out a lot lately. That issue in particular, if you get that on my video or anyone's video, you could just reload the page. And if you skip to a point past where that happens, it should let you continue watching the video and finish it out. I, I don't know. Hopefully YouTube gets their act together. But um, yeah, so the upstairs is done here. We're going to be moving downstairs. We've got this giant like great room here that we actually kind of have planned out. All right. So I tried recording this episode earlier and had an issue. So I had to reload it. If you guys remember, there was a decision to make down in this bottom right corner of the, the house here. And uh, the decision was either to put the kitchen in here and, and kind of, you know, have a, I think the girl wanted the kitchen here because you, the, the front door is here so you don't have to carry the groceries very far. Or you can choose to put the kitchen in the living room. This is what the guy wanted. He said it's, it's a lot more modern of an approach. Plus, it allows us to create an extra bedroom in this area, which is what I chose. I, I think for property value reasons, you know, at least have a two-bedroom home kind of makes sense. So uh, we're going to be turning this into a bedroom. Now, it looks like... It looks like they don't have any plans to actually like add any walls or anything though. So it's just gonna be like a weird open guest bedroom to the front door. I, I don't know, I, this is their plan, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just doing it. So it looks like we've got a Tony couch. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the, the white here so I can set this up maybe underneath the, the window here. Kind of set it up centered with the window. The window's not centered with the wall, which is kind of weird, but we're fine. So we've got that. We're going to be doing a, a low bookshelf here. What kind of colors do we want? We've got teals, oranges, emeralds. I'm going to say probably a teal with a white. How does that look? That's kind of interesting. Does it fit along this wall? Not... Uh, kind of. That's not bad. All right. I mean, this this is looking like a, a pretty weird a pretty weird room so far. I backed out of the room on accident there. We can go with a, do we want like a gray wood? I'm, I'm gonna say maybe a gray wood table. We could put this over in the corner here. I don't even really know. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know what the vision is here. Looks like they want another table. So we're gonna have to center that couch with the wall rather than the window. And then they want a uh, couple of night lights. Hold up, I'm, I'm, gonna sell, I'm gonna sell this for now. I don't know if I like the teal on that. It kind of gives us some, some weird colors though. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna set this over here for now. Let's move this out of the way and let's get this guy centered with this wall I feel like having it tucked in here. I mean, so this is kind of like a, a futon I guess I guess if I'm going to the beach, it doesn't really matter I wouldn't be too upset, but I, I just I feel like this isn't the best guest quarters Like you, you could totally put a full wall in here and make a door and make an actual bedroom But whatever floats your boat. So we've got that there. We want a couple of night lights here. We could get Spider-Man and Batman. That's so funny. Uh, I'm gonna say, I mean, should we do, I kind of like the color in these. I also like the white flowers here. Let me see what kind of bases we can get. I'm gonna say probably a dark gray. So if we, if we set these up like this, I mean, it's not gonna look bad. It's just not, it's just not gonna look great. You know, like this, this doesn't, this doesn't do it for me as a guest room. Weird, weird choices, my friends. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we're getting over here. This is kind of like the main entrance room, the mud room, the, the foyer, whatever you want to call it. So we want to get some, uh, we want to get some blinds with patterns up. Those don't look bad. Let me see what the teal looks like. See what the blue looks like. I kind of like the teal. We've also got blue zebra. I'm, I'm gonna go with teal here. So let's buy these. We're gonna set these up here. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta get our, uh, gotta get our, our cleaning in here. Make sure we clean the, the top of the windowsill there. Don't wanna don't wanna have any dirt. So I mean that that looks pretty nice. Do you do you not want those? Do you not want those anywhere else? Like can we not put these in this window? The, these windows over here, so it all kind of matches. Like I, I sometimes I don't understand these people's what what they're doing. Uh, wide dark brown seat. I'm gonna go with dark gray here. Uh, we're gonna go with white. Should we have? Maybe like a gray wood, ooh. Or do we wanna go white with the gray wood? Ooh, that actually looks pretty nice. 
Okay, so we can kind of set this. I mean, the window's not really centered, so I guess I'm gonna center it between the window and the door. So we're gonna put it like right, right there. Dark gray hooks, dark hooks, black hooks, white hooks. Uh, I'm gonna say let's go dark gray. So we could set this up over top of that. Maybe line it with the top of the door there. Okay, I mean, that that actually looks pretty nice. A nice little spot to, you know, keep your trinkets, drop shoes, hang coats, that sort of thing. That looks pretty good. We've got a four-door wardrobe here. Definitely gonna be looking for, uh, I mean, gr gray wood, maybe? Gray wood with, with dark handles. You guys think something like that looks pretty good? I mean, we can, we can set this up centered with this wall, I guess. All right, definitely, definitely feel like there's some weird furniture choices happening here. Oh, we want two of those. So yeah, that's that's pretty much just like a, a wall of, of storage. So that that does make sense there. Everything kind of start and take shape. Got this uh, this bookshelf here. We could put that like this, maybe. I I don't know. And then we want another nightlight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the same thing that we had over there. Let's go ahead and buy that, and we can set that up right in the middle, just like. Like so, I guess. I weird room, dude. I not not my vibe. Definitely would do would do something more interesting than this, but it's fine. So it looks like we're gonna have a bathtub over here. We want to get uh, what kind of a bathtub do we want? Uh, any bathtub. So I'm gonna say let's let's get a clawfoot tub. That's pretty cool. We're gonna be able to fit it. We'll close this door. Uh, yeah, we can fit it. All right, set this thing down. We gotta connect these things. Gotta get the faucet on there, get the drain in there, get the, I don't even really know half the stuff I'm talking about. Put those down and that's uh, that's a wrap. All right, claw foot tub in the bathroom. No mirror, very small, but I guess it gets it done. Looks like we do have to, uh, have to clean up a little bit here. Let's get this light centered. Light's pretty centered already. And turn the light on so we could see it a little bit better. All right, we'll take it. So that's this front area done. I just like why do we have one blind? I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this blind on other on other things. Hold on, I, I need to see I need to see which blind it is. So we gotta sell it, and then it should it should pop back up. So it's the Roman blinds with patterns. Now do we want the gray spots? Bam. So granted, I I do still kind of feel like this is a, a massive waste of space, and it doesn't really make sense. Like, why would you ever need such a, a big space, and not add a bedroom? It's I mean, it still it still looks good. I I feel like this thing's really random. I'm gonna get rid of that. Sorry, I know you want it there, but I I don't like it. So we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a door for this door frame here. We're gonna have to get a door. We have just a plain chain. Ooh, a bolsu door with muntins. What is what? What is that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Does this actually act as a door? Interesting. I mean, I guess I'm down. Now this is where the interesting part comes in. So like I said, we did make the decision to include the kitchen in the living room area. We're gonna have to try to find some creative ways to make it look good and not just make it look like we threw a kitchen in the corner and, and that's that. So let's see, let's see what kind of stuff we're working with. What kind of ideas do they have for this? They want a fridge, they want countertops, they want plants, tables, couches. What is this thing here? Bar chairs, okay, I like that. I, I kind of like where we're going here. So let's, we've, we've kind of done this before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our our appliances and get everything set out first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and buy our, our fridge here and we're gonna get all of our counter space set out so that we can figure out what kind of a, a design we wanna go with. Ooh, what, what do we wanna do for countertops here? See, this is where we could potentially get a little bit weird with it and do like a blue with white top. See, like something like that could be interesting. Or do we want, see, I, I don't, I don't wanna go too far, but I also feel like I, def, I definitely don't wanna have it be super boring in here and have literally everything be white. So I think, I think I might try to go with that blue. Dude, we could even match the fridge to it. All right, that, I, I feel like we're, we're kind of potentially onto something here. Now this light here is going, so let's get that out of the way and make sure it's not taking up any space for it. So uh, this is what we're working with here. Now I'm imagining 
I mean, I'm, I'm imagining you definitely want the sink under the window. I feel like you always want the sink under the window. We're gonna set them up like this. And this might be where our little bar area is over here. If we set these guys up like so. Okay, I see you. So this is gonna be additional storage down the side. We've got this guy here. Can put this on the other side of the sink. We can grab the fridge. Put the fridge over in this corner. Could leave like a little bit of space for a little trash can or something like that. So we've got that going there. Then we could set up the bar chairs right here. And the bar chairs look out over the water. All right, I love it. We're actually kind of making this work a little bit. Now there are a couple other things. So they want some hanging cabinets. Honestly, I always, I always struggle with these. I feel like these just look so dumb. We could put a hanging cabinet here. So we've got that. I'm gonna move it to the left a little bit so it's fully centered. So something like that. I mean, we could put one above the fridge. I'm gonna center the fridge with the wall rather than putting a trash can there. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I feel like we can fill the wall with cabinets and it's just not gonna look very good. I kind of like where we're at right there. Oh, we got, we've got more. Hold on a second. We've got, we've got much more. We have three more of these that we have to place. Are you, oh, these, these are the actual bars. Okay. So we're gonna have to move these to who knows where. We could make them into a little mini island here. I don't feel like that's a bad idea. I can, I can work with that. That's a pretty decent looking kitchen. I mean, these things look kind of unfinished on the backside, but there's, there's nothing we can do about that. They're just like a flat wall. There's no, you know, nothing to them. No, like molding or, or baseboards or anything to make it look like it's meant to be facing the world. But I kind of like that. I, I can, I can deal with this. So we've got that there. Now we actually have a little overhang here for our bar seats. So let's grab these guys. I think, nope, that's our, our dining room chair. We need these guys. So we've got some different options. We'd have some different colors. I feel like, I mean, I feel like the white and metallic is probably gonna be our best bet. So we can set these guys up like this. How many of these do we want? I'm assuming three. That looks pretty nice. Looks like a nice little area to, to have some breakfast. So we've got that. Looks like we want a giant dining room table with six chairs. Ooh, don't do it to me. Do we have a light? Oh, we've got a gray wood. Okay, I was gonna say, don't do it to me. Don't don't give me some crazy colors that we aren't gonna be able to work with. So this guy is probably, ooh. I mean, this, this is definitely kind of a weird, a weird setup. Cause where are we gonna put the living room? I'm assuming, like this, this is kind of the best spot. For dining. I think we're gonna have to do this for dining. We're gonna go with white wood chairs here and let's just buy these guys and uh, and set them up. Now we also want a couple of oval arm chairs. We want, uh, we want this couch here. Whew, I just don't know if we're gonna have enough space. The couch is gonna be a problem. Uh, I like the colors we already have here. We could do some blue pillows just to add a little bit. We wanna go white with blue or gray with blue? I really like the gray with white, but I feel like the gray with blue brings in some of the other blues. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So, I mean, there's just not enough space. There really isn't. Can we put that table and chairs outside? Real talk. I would rather eat outside anyway. It's my project, I don't care, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm setting this out here. They, they may be my clients. They may be, uh, you know, paying me and paying my bills, but I, I really, I don't, I don't care. We're going to put this outside, dude. This is going to be sick. Why wouldn't you want to have a cool outdoor area when you have a view like this? I feel like they aren't taking advantage of the, the ocean at all. You know what I mean? Like they've got this, this beautiful house on the water. They have almost no windows. They're not like setting up nice guest bedrooms for people to come visit you. Like who, who doesn't want to go visit their friends on the beach? and your friends aren't gonna have a legitimate bed for you to sleep. They're gonna have a futon for you, are you kidding me? This is outrageous, I don't stand for it. Who wouldn't wanna have a fantastic family dinner right there? That is lovely, and now we've cleaned up some space for us to be able to have our, our living room here. So we're gonna be able to get two of these bad boys. What kind of colors or designs do we wanna go for? Definitely these, because we use these upstairs, so I'm just gonna place these down for now. We're gonna keep on working. We want a stove top over here. I mean, we could, we could just kind of set this up, set this up anywhere. We could even put it in the island. Might be kind of interesting. I like that. Can go with the gray wood table here. We're gonna grab this. They also, they wanted two of these rugs, which is kind of interesting. So we've got a table there. Obviously we're not gonna do the big table and chairs. We want two of these potted plants. 
So let's buy two of these. We are getting down to the very nitty gritty of our budget here. Uh, we've got two of those and then we've got this, this coffee table here. So I'm thinking, do we want white wood with a gray top or do we want to go with with white top and gray wood. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. American walnut or gray wood? Gray wood for sure. All right, so we've we've got this here. So we just need to get places for all of these. Um, hmm. I'm thinking couch centered with the window would look pretty nice. So let's get that guy set up like that. We can have this guy over here, kind of, I don't know, little little corner chair. Maybe a little corner chair over here. It's just gonna be a nice little nice little sitting area, I guess. I, like little little reading nook. Something like that. We can have a little table in between these two. Let's get one of the rugs underneath said table. So we can have it like that. Yeah, this is this is starting to come together. Let's get this centered just like so. We can have this in front of the couch. Kinda weird to have two two rugs side by side like that, but I guess it's fine. So we can have the coffee table here. Maybe move this back a bit. I don't know. What do you guys think this would look best? I guess probably just centered with the coffee table. All right. So we've got that. We could have a plant on each side of the couch here. So put one there and put one there. I mean, kind of a nice little setup. I, this is this is kind of a random corner. We could probably put some sort of a bookshelf or something over here. But I, I feel like I feel like it kind of kind of came together a little bit. But if we move these things over and, and give the reading nook a little bit more space to breathe, I'm gonna put all this stuff over here. Get the coffee table set up. Does that look, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Kind of covers up that corner now and uh, all right, not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, what are, what are the paintings? Something like this? Yeah, dude, that's that looks pretty nice. So we've got a giant wave mural there. That's actually, ooh. That's the same one as upstairs, but it's it's fine. Whatever, nobody's gonna notice. I feel like we could have something else on this wall as well. So let's check out uh, let's check out some of our other options. I just like the big C things, C border. All right, let me let me buy one of these. If we do a slightly smaller and different one, that might look a little bit better. I think this is too big for the space. I, I think we gotta we gotta go with the mediums. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit more appropriate. So we got that there, we got that there. We've got our little breakfast brunch spot. I, I just, I, I wanna go have a meal here and then go swim in the water. We only have $600 left in the budget, so there's really not gonna be much we're gonna be able to do even if we wanted to. I mean, we could we could try to liven it up a bit and, and bring some bring some some little trinkets and stuff in here. Like I know there's there's all the little like miscellaneous knives and kitchen equipment and stuff like that. So we, we could check this out. Let me see if I can grab some of those things. Dream catcher, I feel like a dream catcher in the corner is is kind of cool. Very beachy, boho, chic, that sort of thing. So we we've got that. I'm just I'm gonna roll through here and we're gonna see we're gonna see what we can find. Aquariums? Dude, sick. I love aquariums. Where could we put this? We don't really have anything to put it on, unfortunately. That would be really cool though. I I really want an aquarium in, in my house, like a big one. That'd be pretty cool. So we've got some different surfboards here. Could go with some different woods. Uh, would something like this be kind of, oh, that's kind of a big surfboard, but I like it. We could put this like maybe over here. Yeah. See, it's all, it's all in the details. The devil is in the details, that's for sure. We've got some hangers, windowed screens, swans figurines are kind of weird, candles, welcome mats. Dude, there's so many things in here. We've got shovels, sledgehammers, drill flipper, M tins, crowbars. What in the world? See, ooh, we've got like drying racks here. Could be kind of interesting in the kitchen. I mean, we, we could literally spin forever. You know, going through this stuff. I, I feel like I feel like we have a decent setup here. I'm I'm happy with how this turned out. I, I really I wish we could make our own decisions for this room in here. I, I just I don't understand what they're doing with this. But I mean coming in here, seeing the color pop from the kitchen here, you've got this beautiful outdoor dining space. You've got uh, you know, all this gorgeous white wood along with the, the gray wood and then the blue accents and some plants and stuff. I just, I, I feel like this turned out pretty well. I really, I really liked how we, we finished things up here. So I'm thinking we might, 
we might be able to call that a wrap. Oh, we've got some before and afters happening here. I wish they could have could have done it like on a bright sunny day you know I feel like it looks really dark and dingy even in the after here oh that is that see that right there is just crazy that we were able to do that change that into a massive bathroom there we go definitely some happy customers there so let me know what you guys think I feel like it turned out pretty well there it was kind of an interesting different house not necessarily my cup of tea but uh, I feel like we still did pretty well with it so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want some more house flipper all you got to do is let me know down in the comments, drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and if there's plenty of support, then we can definitely make that happen. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.